1960, I heard about a Ferrari being for sale up in Richmond, California, but it happened to be in the back part of a Rambler dealership. I drove up there, parked, and went inside and asked the lady at the counter. I said, I understand you have a Ferrari for sale here. And she looks up and says, Sonny, this is a Rambler dealership. Well, a guy in the back corner of the front office said, well, we may have one stored for a guy out back. You might go look. So I went out back and I looked in there. It was a dark warehouse kind of situation. I didn't see any Ferraris. And I got to this back corner and here is this, this mess. It's a blue sports car on jack stands, it, filthy, covered with mud. So I grabbed a rag off the shop floor, reached over, wiped the valve cover, Ferrari. Oh, I've got to say it, you know. I paid for it $2,225. Here I had just spent two-thirds of a year's salary with a bank loan for a wreck that was going to take three times that to fix. There was no way to take care of it. My folks, when I bought the car, had said, you've taken leave of your senses. But then I decided, you know, it's just a piece of machinery. You should be able to take it apart, figure out what's wrong, fix it, and put it back together. And after nine months, the car was ready to drive. I took it to my first hill climb, took a first in class, took a trophy home. My ego that day was just untouchable. In the year 2000, the family, my wife and my son and I had a discussion of what are we gonna do with that? Because over the years when the Navy moved me, the last time it was driven on a track was 1968. So this is still 32 years later. So we decided this is time to put it back together. So after a lot of research as to its history and what color, that sort of thing, we embarked on an eight year project to bring it to the condition that you see now. When we took it to Pebble Beach in 2008, the judges could not find anything wrong. It's a 100 point car at Pebble. We took first in the competition class against some very interesting and beautiful cars. And then on the stand, Sandra Button comes out and gives us the Enzo Trophy for having the best Ferrari on the field, all classes, awarded by Piero Ferrari and Jean Tant. The wonderful thing about this car is it, it checks all the boxes beautifully in, in every category, provenance, race history, uh, originality. There's no question about uh, this car, it, what it started off as and what you see today. There, it, it's just beautifully documented. It's time for me to transfer custodianship. Uh, there are several reasons behind that. Uh, simply, I have done more with this car than I ever dreamed when I bought that wreck. I wanted to go to somebody who is a car enthusiast, who wants that car, who, wants, who has the capability of maintaining it and of driving it. Ending up sitting on a museum stand is not where this belongs. Uh, in a private collection that nobody gets to see is not where it belongs. It needs to go to someone who will drive it, will show it, will talk about it.